Here's the RCA A108 radio chassis with the repairs completed to the IF transformers. Here's the uh, maker's data here. Let me see if I can zoom in on it here. It's model A108. And this cabinet was missing everything but the speaker. I need to make some permanent connections to the speaker wires there. It didn't have the 33 and 45, or it didn't have the 33 and 78 phonograph. Here's the uh, case for the radio, and the 45 player sits in this space here above the radio chassis. And the whole thing pulls in and out on a drawer on those sliding things there. So I'll show you the radio performance now with it disassembled. Then I'm going to reassemble everything and we can show you the phono performance. Here's the 45 changer. It's got a new stylus put in it, new drive wheel, and we cleaned and lubricated the mechanism. So let's take a look at the AM performance first. If your wild is everyday life, you need Docker's khakis. Docker's signature khaki, now in power technology, available at Coles and Coles.com. this 10 years from now or 15 years from now when the kids are not up nursing and crying all night and she can get up with her husband I guarantee she can but can she do it right now during pregnancy Ouch. Uh, and how they can apparently just stop any type of audit that comes to them and uh, you know Back when I started in this business, you had to have what was called a first class radio telephone operator. Now here's FM. <laughs> Sixty-five. 
three years by providing the best value because you really do get what you pay for. Browse our amazing selection 24-7 on our newly designed website, SpearsFurniture.com. Better yet, come see... So there's the radio performance. We've got pretty good performance from it. We don't have a lot of bass, but this I don't think this was designed to be able to reproduce much bass. It's a very small magnet speaker. I took the I even tried putting on a different uh, woofer to see if I could get more bass out of it, but it just didn't sound as good. It's just got that it just sounds like an old console radio. And I think with an external speaker cabinet you would be able to get more bass out of it, but it really was designed optimally for AM radio and 78 RPM records. Nothing they would have had back then I don't think would have had the kind of bass that can be generated today uh, on FM radio. But it still sounds pretty decent. And we've got good, re very good reception quality. I did have to rewire one of these capacitors. I had accidentally put it in the wrong place just because I thought that's how it was done and it might have even been done wrong in the past. I, Luckily I was able to find the photo fact. Let me get the, it's kind of stuck under here. Let me get the photo fact for it here. This shows, let me see here, this shows what it's supposed to look like. This had this real wild and wacky paint job done on it, and the other phonograph is supposed to be inside here, but it's missing. So this will just do 45s. But I've seen this green paint job on several things I've got. It must have been popular back in the late 50s or 60s. I found that this is a 51 model. But another thing on this is on the AMIF can here. Let's see, where is it here? I need to see which... Where is it? Okay, here it is. I'm trying to see which one it is. It must be... Okay. <laughs> I, need to, I need to find it here because there's an important thing I wanted to show with regards to the AMIF. And here, here it is. It's got three coils in it, and one is coupled with a capacitor back in there. So it's not just a straight, it's not the most common setup for how the mica caps go on there. And I was having such a tough time. It's, uh, it's this, let's see here. No, it's, the, it's this one, this one right here. And I was not getting any AM reception. I thought, what is the problem with this? But uh, luckily, since I had the photo facts, I was able to find out it was a more unconventional circuit. And I found that one of the wires had broken off uh, from the contacts while I was repairing it. But I just uh, very carefully scraped off that enamel with some uh, with a file and resoldered it. Put the circuit back. Put the circuit the way it should be. Because I, I was able to change one of the capacitors and get a signal through it, but it wasn't it wasn't right. I knew it. So with the help of the Photofax and repairing that contact, we've got the AM circuits working like they should. I didn't replace the caps and the FM uh, transformers. They seem like they're still working good, so I'm just going to leave those alone. These look like a little bit bigger units, so. After all this testing, they're still working fine. It seems like the AM, for whatever reason, the AM units are more prone to the degradation than the FM ones. So we'll put it all back together into the cabinet next and demonstrate uh, the record changer performance.